I wanted to uh, review some of the Rogue equipment that I picked up um, after my wife and I had our first child. Um, I recently became a CrossFit Level 1 coach and I train about four or five days a week at least. Uh, I've been doing CrossFit for about two and a half years and I needed some way to keep up the volume that I had become used to. Uh, I knew that for convenience sake, I needed to have something in my garage. Um, so I shopped around a lot. Uh, what you're going to be seeing here is specifically demo of movements on the S2 squat rack. So my biggest concern in finding a garage gym is I wanted to be able to duplicate a lot of the movements uh, that I do at my home box as well as um, get heavy you know, and uh, start lifting heavy weights. So as you can see, the uh, kipping pull-ups weren't an issue, butterfly kipping pull-ups. Um, that was the base. I got some rings and um, did some uh, ring handstand push-ups. Um, here's some bench press. Um, I have the safety spotter arms. You'll see in a second that um, I'm, I'm just doing kind of max effort at 135 and uh, letting the weight come down all the way so that you can see how those spotter arms catch it. My brother was doing it at 225, had no issues. Um, he was doing one rep at 315, again, had no issues having those safety spotter arms um, bail him out. Uh, so perfect um, if you're alone in the gym. Spin test on the Rogue Bar 2.0, fantastic spin. Um, comparable to all of the uh, Ohio bars that I use at the box, uh, just some basic double unders and whatnot. But um, the biggest thing that I wanted to go over is that S2 rack. Uh, it's a good balance between convenience and durability. And why I chose Rogue, well, A, it's made in America. Uh, B, there's nothing like it out there. I went down to a big box store down in Phoenix near me and tested out some other made in China equipment that was, to be perfectly honest, not that much less expensive. I would have saved maybe a couple hundred bucks if I would have gone with them. Um, but the quality of the steel, um, the thickness of the steel, and what I deemed to be the overall durability was not nearly as good. And eventually I just bit the bullet, if that's what you want to call it, and uh, went with Rogue because it's what I'm used to and I don't regret it one bit. Um, they've been fantastic with customer service as well. I, I ordered a lot of equipment. Um, there was a little bit of a hiccup, but they took care of it within two days and it was absolutely completely done. Here's some kipping toes to bar. I'm really trying to make a point to um, hit that bar kind of as hard as I can with my toes to show you that there's not a whole lot of sway in it. As you can see in this picture behind me, or in this video behind me, um, I'm anchoring the bars with just a handful of 45 pound plates. So most of what I do in my garage is strength focused. I do a lot of uh, strict chest to bar, strict pull ups, but when I do want to work a little gymnastics movements and do some of those butterfly giving pull ups or the uh, keeping toes to bar, um, all I do is pull the S2 away from the wall a little bit. I anchor each corner with a 45 pound plate and the thing doesn't move at all. Um, real quick demo here of these uh, HG 2.0 bumpers, almost no bounce. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, if you're doing uh, you know, quick singles to drop it, get back on it real quick, you're not messing around with the weights. And as you can see, that was on concrete, not on the rubber stall mats in the back. Um, again, kipping toes to bar. This is another angle uh, just to kind of show you that I'm kicking it as hard as I can and there's barely any sway in that bar. I'm about six foot, 160. I put the bar at the absolute maximum height um, and there's still plenty of space for my kipping and whatnot. When I first got it, I moved it outside. I uh, got a little dicey and I was doing some uh, muscle ups, <laughs> some bar muscle ups. And again, weighted down with just 45 pound plates at each corner, no issues. Um, I got the plastic rings uh, from Rogue and they've been absolutely fantastic. You can't really even tell the difference. I use metal rings at the box that I go to and these plastic rings feel fantastic. Um, quick adjust straps, uh, so I move from, you know, ring dips, strict ring dips. Uh, I want to do some ring rows. I'm getting ready to set it up for my wife uh, who's, you know, two months out from having just given birth. She wants to start getting back at it and this is obviously, it's a lot more convenient for her to work out in the gym. So just testing some ring rows. As you can see, it's not falling over on me. There's no issue. I mean, plenty stable to be able to do things like ring rows, butterfly pull-ups, uh, kipping toes to bar, and whatever you deem you want to do if you want to build your own wad. Um, so, yeah. I was going to uh, do a time-lapse video of me building um, the entire set, but to be perfectly honest, after it came here and I unboxed everything, um, I was by myself and it took me about 15-20 minutes to put it together. 
Um, all of the uh, connecting joints are extremely sturdy. It's just a bunch of bolts and all it took was a couple of wrenches. So I didn't really feel it necessary. If you have any worries about being able to build this by yourself, just buy it because it's not an issue. So after my workout, it took about 5-10 minutes to get everything set up, uh, not even actually, maybe 45 seconds, uh, to get everything set up for my wife, uh, put her through a quick warm up. Right now, uh, just a small AMRAP of ring rows, uh, some knee raises, um, deadlifts, and jump ropes uh, to kind of get her back into it, and um, she's doing great. So as you can see, again, no issues uh, with her swaying the S2 squat rack or anything like that. It was very, very sturdy. Um, she felt very, very safe on it, so no issues there. Alright guys, thanks for visiting my Manctuary. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this helped if you were considering Rogue. Have a great day.